Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Victoria 3. As we are continuing to learn this game, one, one struggle at a time, one solution at a time, whatever you want to call it, we're working through it. Like, for example, right now, we're short on convoys, so I'm building up another port to hopefully fix the convoy thing. I'm assuming that's how that works. We'll find out together. Um, what do we want here? I mean, I'm kind of, part of me is just tempted to just grab some of these low-hanging fruits. Um, yeah, why not? Let's grab crystal glass. Just the low-hanging fruit that shouldn't take too long, theoretically, to kind of get done. I mean, again, I'm not, it's hard to know exactly how we're doing. I mean, my big thing is, where are we at on the prestige? Where are we at on the education? Where are we, like, if we can get kind of at the top for some of these other bits and bobs, then I will be pretty happy with that. I think that that'll be my my win condition, so to speak. Railway being produced. Convoys will be done, or the convoy, the port will be done here in 36 weeks. I mean, we're losing a little bit of money, but again, not significant. I mean, we are currently still rock bottom on taxation level, so uh, we can always add more to that. We haven't even gotten any consumption taxes right now, so we're pretty low on that list. Um, wait, do I want to start researching joint stock companies? Oh, I was going to... Why did that pop up? Okay, here we go. Max number of companies. Okay. Well, speaking of companies, um, where's the companies come from? Or under politics. What would it be under budget? No. I hadn't actually looked at this. Uh, uh, declare bankruptcy. Uh, I don't actually know. Oh, there we go. Companies. We could establish a company, couldn't we? What do we need? Ah, okay, okay. All right, so we'll circle back to this later, but it's a thing. It exists. Alright, our port is... I'm not sure how far along it is. I'm not seeing the number. There it is. I don't know why I wasn't seeing it. Why is it not showing me here? Because I'm blind, probably. Alright, hydraulic cranes. That actually increases our port max level. That's kind of cool. Goes hand in hand with what we're doing. Not that we need more ports at the moment, but... At some point. Maybe we should be doing more trading. Maybe trading is just a big something we should be doing a lot of. Iron goods shortages in iron mines. Still a shortage of transportation, which is again hopefully gonna come back to that urbanization, I'm assuming. Alright, so we finished the port. We do have more convoys now, which I'm assuming. As it gets fully employed, we'll be good to go with that. Plantinian Nation. Uh, okay. We do have more. Not not the 150 that I was expecting. But we have more. State Incorporated. Hey! We finally finished the Corporation of a State. Congratulations. You are not part of us. I think. Um. So that's done. Still so colonizing state. Increase your... So oh, it says it by a healthy margin. We actually didn't increase it by much. Is it because it's not... fully employed? Where is the port? Port is... there. No, it's fully employed. I'm apparently just misunderstanding what the modifier means. I didn't realize this increased infrastructure. I mean, it makes sense. I had not thought about it. Or is it because we don't have enough clippers? Mm, I don't know about that. What well, does increase the urbanization level as well? Well, how nice. Um, do we need more ports then? Am I did I misunderstand? Total generation of 150 convoys are due to 300 from port in and Antioquia, and 150 from New Granada. Um, I'm confused. 
So do we need more ports? I don't know. Let's do another port. I don't I don't know if I'm understanding. All right, got some isolated things. Trade states proposed. Transfer of states. Oh, so they want my states. Oh, they want to... Wait. They want to trade Windward Coast for my new Grenadine Mauritania? Apparently my new Grenadine Windward Coast is... is is popular. I'm gonna say no to both of those because apparently if they if they want it, I'm gonna assume there's something good about it. I have no idea. Alright, new government reform. Again, I would really I mean we can go with just industrialists. That feels dangerous. I think we keep it the way it is. I want to keep the industrialists in here, if at all possible. But... I mean, I could, I could see that becoming a thing someday. Alright, we actually have more convoys now. Assuming it just was a thing where we just didn't have more convoys coming in yet. Like, we just hadn't... It's something we build up to. Like, it, it gradually increases or something like that. Maybe. Maybe I don't understand. Uh, I mean, all of our trade routes still seem to be okay. Um, or, no, wait a minute. I guess we have still only have the 150. Apparently, I'm misunderstanding something, but that's all right. Logging camps are coming in. They've got iron mines. Then we got the railways. Then we got the paper mills. we got the port. we got lots of things coming in still. Money's still dropping. Could try to set up some more... We do have a few convoys, so we could do so up some more trade routes, maybe. And I still don't know if I fully understand the export side of things. Like, do we have ex ammunition to export? Take 17 convoys. I don't know. Close. Again, it's not like it's... What What is considered high? <laughs> like, I guess that's probably the big question. What is a large amount of, of worth doing? I mean, double digits feels like it might be okay, but again, it might be relative, relatively low. I mean, porcelain, sure. Brazil, go to Brazil. Get some porcelain exported. I don't know. I mean, opium, still. Oh, there's actually, oh, we actually need a lot of bureaucracy for both of those. Okay. Well then, that's fine. We'll do the one. We're a little bit low on bureaucracy. Not like so much that I'm like crying just yet. Although we're going to have a little bit of tax waste. But I can fix the bureaucracy thing at some point. In fact, probably just go ahead and fix the bureaucracy right now. We just need more government. Uh, administration. I'll put this at the top. Okay. More government administration. Go. Go, go, go. Alright, we've only got one major negative right now, which is paper. Uh, wood flirting, but paper, really. And we got the paper mill stuff in the, in the queue. We could push the paper above the logging camps, I suppose. Maybe we should. Although paper does, you know, I'm pretty sure you use logging. I think that's how paper works. So we got the institutions rolling. Which I think I'm still okay with. Better education, better health, better law enforcement. To me, all sounds like a good idea. Again, we could remove a trade route that we feel is like not profitable. I mean, the porcelain one's not that much, right? So let's go and just get that one back. No sense being negative right now. Still okay with putting the bureaucracy in there so we can do some more stuff, but... Yeah, these are just not that much money, honestly. 
But for now, we'll leave him there. Land orders petition government. Uh, to pass landed voting. I don't know that we want landed voting, though. Uh, where was it? Voting. Turn in front of my face, I'm sure. It's not economy. What is it? Oh, there it is. Distribution of power. Landed voting. I mean, landowners would be happy. Armed forces would be happy. Industrials would not be happy. Intelligentsia would not be happy. I mean, there's not major changes. For the most part. Not enough to, like, feel like we're going to be... Like, everybody's still going to be technically loyal, I think. I mean, this puts us back more conservative than, than liberal, which is where we would get with this one, one recurrent voting. I mean, if we don't do it, how angry are they going to be? <laughs> how angry are you going to get? What recognition of accomplishment. With the recent investment in Antioquia, the raw goods industry has resulted in a positive balance for the fishing wharves there. Industry groups are quick to try to claim credit for this in investment. I kind of like the industrialists getting a little bit more popular, honestly. I want to be industrial. Um, you guys want me to induct theocracy? How about no? If failed, um, the landowners will, will, will hate me. I don't really want to go landed voting. I think we just deal with it. It's probably going to backfire, but I think we just deal with it. Still building the government administration. It's more than halfway done. A little bit of Diplo stuff available. Um, apparently we can establish a colony. Sure. And we'll keep improving relations with people that make sense. All right, let's go Portugal. It's a big nation. Let's make them happy with us, hopefully. GDP's got, you know, a decent boost. Not it's kind of like starting to stagnate a little bit. I mean, there's still some things <laughs> that are... We're doing okay on some things we're not doing so good on. I mean, bureaucracy's back down to negative again, but we're about to get a little bit of a boost here in a moment, so I'm okay with that. Ten weeks. We'll leave it negative for a minute. Uh, we are about to run out of our gold reserves, so I do need to start figuring that out. Getting some maize farms. I'm assuming that's private construction, so good stuff there. Our government administration, we're actually really good on that now. So, we don't have a lot of convoys at the moment, though. We have a port in the queue, but it's at the bottom of the queue. I don't know. I think we keep staying the course of what we're at right now and let, let things finish. Do I go ahead and... Bump up taxes a smidge. I mean, that puts us back positive. I and mean, we were getting kind of low, so I think, I think I'll go ahead and bump that up a smidge. It's not great. Oh, what is this? Oh no, it's a mining accident. A mine has collapsed, trapping miners within a dark shaft below. The scale of the accident has made the tragedy story across Antioquia and the nation. Um. None of this is good. Lower strata, upper strata, middle strata. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> lower strata is obviously going to be our highest number, right? But getting more interest in, interest in the industrialist does sound good. Uh, 
right? Like, what's what? What is our? Uh, this is in Antioquia specifically, right? Uh, let's go here. Population. So, lower strata would be what? Is that? How do I see the lower strata? Is that here? I'm sure it's right in front of my face, and I'm just not seeing it. I haven't actually checked my uh, my little things, my little things that I've got assigned to all the different places. Um, right, I'm presumably like these guys are all lower strata, right? Hmm, this is bad. Because I feel like 5% is just a large number. <laughs> I mean, I would assume the upper strata is the lowest. All right, let's go upper strata. I'm assuming that's the lowest population. It just makes the most sense. Uh, let me check some of the... Um, what do I want to look at? I want to look at... What am I looking for? I'm looking for the... Uh, this stuff. Oh, there we go. Uh, we got road maintenance... Do we even need road maintenance here still? We cancel the road maintenance. Yeah, we're still good, actually. Uh, encourage agricultural industry. I mean, I'm still okay with some of these, obviously. What do you got? You got greener grass migration attraction. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which for now is probably, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure some of these could be changed at this point, but for now, I think we're okay. I don't have a specific reason to change any of them at the moment. Oh, hey, we got no active research. Canneries is about to be, oh, that's right. We can go look at the crystal glass. I don't know. Let's come back over to baking powder or something. Crystal glass. Steel tools. Ooh. I mean, in theory, it's better. Let's give us more tools. Now, do we not have anything that uses crystal glass? I thought we had like an alcohol or something like that being made. None of these rail transportation things are worth anything because it's too expensive. I mean, some of these are not bad, so it's probably still... Potentially, okay. Like, for example, 531. That's probably not, you know, terrible. But we just need more transportation. And I'm just... I'm really still misunderstanding how to get transportation. Um, because the only thing I could see that it comes from is the urban centers themselves, right? Is there anything down here that I just missed that does give us transportation? I don't think so, right? So I'm assuming transportation just comes from urbanization. Producing urban center and railway. So it is producing the railway. Did I not see that? Like, I thought I looked at the railways. No, it does. Okay, I'm blind. I'm just blind as a bat, guys. It's been there the whole time. Just me being blind. Um, so, because the railways made the most sense, but for some reason I wasn't seeing it earlier. And I just was, like I said, not, apparently not paying attention. So we do need more transportation in a few places. Well, I say that. It would be good to get more transportation just in general for some of these other things, but I guess we don't have anything that's currently low. All right, let me unpause for now. Let me just... Uh, at least I found it. I thought it was under railroads, but I, I think I just looked at something wrong earlier. I mean, the urbanization, I guess, makes some sense as well. We got some more lumber stuff coming in. I mean, we're fine-ish on the money. I mean, truth be told, we could just go up to 
medium tax, it's probably not that bad. Education's still going up. GDP still going up. Everything's still getting better. Slowly. It may not be going better as fast as it should, but it is still getting better. All right, so we got canneries. Actually, part of me wonders if I just flip everything over to um, rail transportation and then we figure out how to fix the transportation after that. But let's let's get through our queue that's currently in process right now. And then we'll circle back to that. A lot of these I might just flip over and then fix the negatives, right? Canneries does look like it might be slightly better. It's not much, but it's something. Let's get through our queue. We got a decent queue. I would like to get more um, construction sectors, right? What if we... How much does it cost to do a construction sector right now? Uh, what's under? Urban? No, I always forget. <laughs> it is down here under... What am I blind? Where is it under? Why am I blind? Why don't I see construction sectors? Oh, I didn't see what that was. Oh no, I didn't see what it was. I was hitting a button. Um, I'm so blind, guys. I, why am I always so blind? I don't understand. There it is. Oh my goodness, I'm like blind as a bat. It's under buildings, under... Is it political? Oh, so that's why I was blind. All right, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> I mean, some of these places down here, it's not that much. Why is it not that much down here? Is it just the price? I guess it's just the price in that mar that area. I mean, it still feels like it makes the most sense to put it, stack it in the place that we've got the most... Let's get another one and let's adjust let's adjust accordingly once that's done and i'm actually going to push this to the top of the queue and then we will figure out what what suddenly you know got more expensive or whatever that made that not good because the more of these we have the faster everything else produces at least that's my understanding senegal Cushion cap, which I don't think we have anything that's able to do anything with that. Pretty sure we don't. Cool. All right, come on. More convoys obviously would be nice. These all our trade routes are currently still profitable. So we're losing a little bit of money, but not much. We haven't. Have we actually finished that? I guess we did. So we're actually losing a tiny bit, but not much. All right, we can handle that. And as we get more of the lumber and stuff like that coming in, that will presumably help that price as well. I mean, we don't got a huge gold reserve, but it seemed like we're okay. That looks like another lumber logging camp just finished. Help that a little bit. Ah, we did just go under on convoys again. Production and agitation. And collaborators from the Conservative Party, so-and-so has secured a deal for cheap and quickly distribute pamphlets in support of the party. Um, Don't really want more momentum for the Conservative Party right now. So we'll say no. So we are still short on convoys. We might need to push the convoy port up higher. So let's do that. Let's get the port. Oh, I didn't mean to zoom out. Let's get the port up higher and fix our convoy situation. Do 
we even still have the colony going over here. We tech oh, it's actually about to finish. Oh, it actually is expanding. Oh, we legit have a colony over here. Okay. I was not actually expecting to have one. I thought we would like get booted out by other people before we actually finished. Uh, reform government. Still, still don't want to just do just the industrialists. So now we'll just stick with it as it is. At least the private construction still goes on, right? Like, we're still getting some, some good stuff from that. Baking fat powder and food industries. So it gives us a lot more grocery. Oh, uh, yeah, more groceries. Uses up. I'm not exactly sure what it's using up more of, but we'll go for it. It says it's going to make us more money. And more research. Um, still railway cars gives us things. I don't know. Just keep, keep getting low hanging fruit for now. Faith knows no borders. The Catholic Church wished to strengthen our ties to Venezuela through our shared faith. Intelligentsia. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I get it. It would be decent. I'm currently kind of happy with us. I think we're, re we're new grenadine first, Catholic second. I'm okay with that. All right, so we're making money. Not much, but we are technically making money. And we have that new um, construction sector in place. So that's actually pretty good. Oh, 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 so it's private. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> How did our queue get so small? Uh, we're about to get the port. Oh, we actually have some convoys now, but it's probably okay to get the port back again. Let's see what that does for us. We'll get the last logging camp. Start working through some iron mines because I think iron's still uh, not actually at the moment, but we might actually push their paper mills above everything else once we get that last logging camp done. Mostly because it's already half done. Might as well finish it. Definitely think I could see an uh, argument for... Putting in some more, you know, construction sectors and just kind of keep pushing that up. Let's get a little bit of a gold reserve stockpile. Maybe get it above the halfway mark in this little bar. And see what that does for us. Uh, apparently we got some Diplo points available. I mean, where would we like to go? Go oh, here. And then keep improving relations with people that we feel are important. Right, that looks good for now. Hidden communities. Small communities of fugitive slaves hidden away in remote areas of Panama have become targets of local slaveholders during the... They could assist in potential uprisings. Oh. Um. What would they expect to accomplish by hunting down people in the middle of nowhere? All right, this I think I like this one. Actually, what we probably should do is bolster these guys. Yep, I like that actually a lot. Get more people to join the industrialists. Oh, apparently we did improve our supply network of convoys and stuff, so yay us. Speaking of convoys, more exports. Uh, what was it? Opium? It was really high? Yeah, opium's really high. Well, I say really high. I don't know if it's actually high in the sense of uh, it's worth anything, but we'll see. For now, we're okay. No shortages of anything at the moment. We're building our last logging camp for now. 
And then we'll work on some of the other stuff. Like I said, we'll probably put the paper mills up higher. Which wouldn't surprise me if it then needs the logging camps more after that. All right, we're actually going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we will... I don't know. Keep on keeping on. Things are slowly getting better. Again, I, I, I know things are getting better. They just might not be getting better as fast as they should be getting better. <laughs> That's the question. So we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.